What is up, posse? DJ Will I Am here. I'm here to give you my thoughts on Batman the Killing Joke. I recently just saw this movie, like, I thought about it like 10 seconds ago, and I honestly have a lot to say about this movie. Okay, I'm not going to say a lot. Uh, I'm just going to give you my thoughts, like what I uh, thought was good, what I thought wasn't good, and all that sort of stuff. So this movie was directed by Sam Liu and uh, stars Kevin Conroy as Batman and uh, Mark Hamill as the Joker. And basically what this movie is, and I'll explain this all in a spoiler-free way, is that uh, uh, this kind of goes into like the Joker origin story, and I'm sure you, all of you Batman fanatics are thinking, oh, they already explained that in like the old in one of the other Batman movies and yes they did but to me in my opinion this has to be the best way they could have portrayed the Joker's origin story and uh, I'll just say this I enjoyed uh, a lot of the Jokers in the past like Jack Nicholson and Heath Ledger but to me personally the best Joker will always be Mark Hamill I mean, in this uh, version of Batman, or I mean, in this version of the Joker, you get to see a totally different side of him. Okay, yes, on the Dark Knight, uh, he goes on a killing rampage, and he's just all, cuckoo, cuckoo. But holy crap, this guy is just insane. And I know, the Joker is always insane, but let me try to rephrase it in other ways. This guy is bad shit crazy. I mean, he went from robbing banks to committing murders. All this just to get Batman's attention and to kill him. So I will, I probably will do a spoiler room sometime soon, maybe. And I do plan on seeing Suicide Squad uh, soon, and I'll uh, probably do a comparison between uh, this Joker and the Killing Joke and the Joker and the Suicide Squad. So, let's get to the stuff I liked. First off, the animation. It is absolutely beautiful for an R-rated uh, movie. It has to be, in my opinion, uh, some of the best animation I have seen uh, in a comic book movie. Not a live-action one, but one in an animated comic book movie. Again, possibly the best animation I've seen. They make some of the hand-drawn characters that look really three-dimensional, along with some three-dimensional uh, structures as well, which was cool, but I personally felt like it, but, uh, it was a little bit distracting at times. But other than that, it was a lot of fun to, to see. Also, the voice acting was fantastic. Uh, I mean, Kevin Conroy, who many consider to be one of the best Batman uh, out there. Okay, there's only, like, two. There's only, like, another person that you could say uh, is the best Batman, and that's Michael Keaton from the 89 version. And from Batman Returns. Because, let's just face it, Val Kimmer and George Clooney just don't cut it. Christian Bale just does that funny voice that everybody just can't help but make fun of. And Ben Affleck, I thought, did pretty good in Batman vs. Superman. Uh, in fact, we even talked about that when Jessup, Mike, and I uh, did our Batman vs. Superman review. And Mark Hamill as the Joker. Now, this is actually kind of a funny story. Because uh, my uh, mom actually had no idea, and she's a big superhero fan like I am, had no idea that Mark Hamill ever did the voice of the Joker. And I didn't know either until I started watching some of the animated uh, Batman TV series. And, of course, uh, Batman Mask of the Phantasm. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It is awesome. And, to be honest, for an R-rated movie, it, it, actu it actually does live up to its uh, expectations. I mean, there is some pretty gruesome stuff in there. Like, there's... Uh, blood, there's a lot of language, hell, there's even a, a sex scene that they censor out. Well, they almost censor out. Okay, yes, they uh, pretty much did censor it, it out. Did they, like, pan uh, up uh, 
up like this, uh, and then they uh, don't show any of it whatsoever, and thank God, because I don't even want to go into explain it, even though I will go into a spoiler room, but not quite yet. Um, uh, and let's see, we also have uh, Tara Strong as the Batgirl, and I have to say that she does uh, very well too, living up to her performance. And we have Ray Wise as Commissioner Gordon, and he does very well. And we have a bunch of other uh, voice actors uh, as well, all in this. Oh, hey, and we have Nolan North in this movie, too. Yeah, but he was a very minor character. Alright, so, I we talked about stuff that I did like. Let's talk about the stuff that I don't really like. Well, for example... I think it, I thought, personally thought it was too short. Like, uh, I'm, everyone has been talking about this. The 30 minute prologue. 30 freaking prologue. Uh, 30 minute freaking prologue. And it has nothing to do with the story whatsoever. Okay, it kind of does, but, uh, uh, either way, it, it took like two thirds of the whole movie, possibly even half, almost half the movie, and just takes it nowhere. Okay, it, it does for the climax and everything. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. It's just that ugh, this movie was just so weird, and but it's so interesting. Oh man, huh. So, what else uh, didn't I like? Well, as much as I enjoyed uh, seeing the Joker's origin story, I kind of would have preferred it if they like went into a little bit more detail about it. And they did go into detail about some stuff. Uh, but I feel like they didn't explain a lot of stuff too much. And, of course, in the spoiler room, I'm going to explain the killing joke. And I'll go into it in another video. It'll probably be tomorrow or Thursday. But for now, I'm just giving you my thoughts on it. Overall, I think it's a good, interesting movie. So, if you didn't like Batman vs. Superman, or if you were a little bit skeptical about Suicide Squad, which I don't see a lot of people... Uh, as, because a lot of people seem to like it, then this movie should be for you. It is uh, very interesting. The animation is gorgeous. The voice acting is phenomenal. And overall, it's a pretty decent story. I would highly recommend it to all Batman fans and all superhero fans of all ages. Well, not of all ages, of all kinds. Uh, sorry. This movie is rated R. I don't want to recommend it to little kids. So, that about does it for this uh, video, and until next time, see you later, posse.